Today we're going to talk about integers and the coordinate plane. Previously we talked about integers being any whole number that is not a fraction. Here are some examples of integers. Negative 6, negative 4, 0, 5, and 7. The coordinate plane is composed of two number lines, the x-axis and the y-axis. Both axes have integers along them. The coordinate plane is organized into four quadrants. One, two, three, and four. You'll notice the quadrants are labeled with Roman numerals instead of regular numbers. Remember, when you plot a coordinate, you should always start at the origin. Let's plot this coordinate as an example. Negative two is our x, positive two is our y. So we'll go negative two on the x-axis and positive two on the y. Then we'll plot our point. Thank you for watching and check out the next video on how to complete a reflection on a coordinate plane.